Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are looking at series 3 and talking about trigonometry. This is episode number 10 and today's topic friends is trigonometric ratios of 30 degree angle. In episode 8 and episode 9 we looked at trigonometric ratios of 45 degrees and 60 degree angles respectively. So friends let's dive in. Now we are going to start with a small uh, construction. We are going to draw ourselves a equilateral triangle and you may wonder why are we drawing ourselves an equilateral triangle instead of a triangle that has a 30 degree angle and you will see that just in a moment. So here we have an equilateral triangle and then we are going to do one small construction. What we are going to do is uh, we are going to find out the midpoint between AC, between A and C and let's say this is D and then join BD. So at this point friends if you look at these two triangles, this triangle and this triangle that is triangle BAD and triangle BCD. If you look at these two triangles you will notice that AD is equal to CD because DCD because D is the midpoint these two sides are equal. The side BD is common to both the triangles and also AB is equal to BC. Why? Why is AB equal to BC? Well because the triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. Right? So if this side is A then this side is A as well and so is the side AC. Right? So from SSS congruence rule we can say that these two triangles BAD and triangle BCD are actually congruent triangles congruent triangles by SSS congruence rule or by SSS side 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 congruence theorem. Now if you think about so that means this angle and this angle must be equal. Why? Because we know in congruent triangles corresponding sides and corresponding angles are equal. So these two angles are corresponding to each other. Each of these two angles are equal and these two angles if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta. These two angles should be same. But what we what do we know about these two angles? Well we know that theta plus theta should be equal to angle B, right? But angle B itself is 60 degrees because this is an equilateral triangle or 2 times theta will be 60 degrees or this implies that theta will be 60 divided by 2 or 30 degrees. So friends that, that, that is the reason why we started off by taking an equilateral triangle because we have found one angle that is 30 degrees. Let's give it, give ourselves a little bit more space here. So what we have found out just now is this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees and this is a 90 degree. So if you look at triangle BAD, if you look at triangle BAD, now BAD is a right triangle. Why? because angle D in BAD is 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. So BAD is a right triangle with one angle as 30 degrees. So if we know the sides we can find out all the trigonometric ratios of 30 degree. Now what do we know about the sides? We know this is A, this is A by 2. So applying Pythagoras theorem we can find out that BD will be actually square root 3 by 2 times A which we did friends in the last episode. Right? So now if you look at so if we know and you can just quickly verify this I mean basically if you add these two right square of this plus square of this you will get this square. So just to make sure that you know these are indeed correct if you add if you square this you will get A square by 2 square is 4. Right? plus if you square this let's do it a little bit 
let's not skip any step here because you have a square root 3 term here a if you square this so this is basically a square a square by 4 plus now square root 3 square is 3 a square is a square and 2 square is 4 so what you have here is denominator is 4 a square plus 3 a square is 4 a square or in other words this will be 4 and 4 will cancel out and you will have a square so now what is this this is nothing but ad so ad square plus what is this this is nothing but bd so ad square plus bd square is equal to a square is nothing a is nothing but a b is a b a b square so we know that our measurements are correct so this is the right measure now friends we have the three values or the three sides right the measure of three sides so we can easily find out 30 degrees so let's do the sign 30 degree and we know friends from our webisode 3 we are learning this that the most important thing is to get the sides correct we know that trigonometric ratios are nothing but we express the angle in terms of ratio of sides so sine 30 degrees is opposite sine is opposite side divided by hypotenuse so for 30 degree opposite side is ad this is the most important part you have to be able to write the sides correctly in the ratio so sine 30 degrees is here so opposite side is ad divided by hypotenuse is ab so if you see this ad is a by 2 so we have a by 2 and ab is a so a and a will cancel out so you will have 1 by 2 so this is sine 30 what about cos 30 cos 30 degrees cos 30 degrees friends similarly is adjacent side which is BD by hypotenuse AB so cos 30 is BD by AB so or what is BD that is this value so we have square root 3 by 2 times A and AB is A A so A and A will cancel out so you will be having square root 3 by 2 so sine 30 is 1 by 2 cos 30 is 3 by root 3 by 2 so you can find out tan 30 similarly tan 30 is sine 30 by cos 30 so this divided by this if you do that you will get 1 by square root 3 and then friends for cosec 30 it will be reciprocal of this sec 30 will be reciprocal of this tan 30 will be reciprocal of this so friends uh, if you were to just write it nicely over here let's just write this values one more time we have seen this is a 30 degree angle and this is a right triangle right so sine 30 is is 1 by 2 cos 30 degrees is root 3 by 2 tan 30 degrees is 1 by square root 3 cosec 30 degree is reciprocal of this so cosec 30 degree will be 2 sec 30 degree will be reciprocal of cos 30 degrees so it this will be 2 pi square root 3 cot 30 degree will be reciprocal of tan 30 degree so this will be square root 3 so friends in this webisode we learned that all the six trigonometric ratios of 30 degree angle in the next webisode we are going to take a look at what are the trigonometric ratios for zero degree angle